How do you play a hammer-on? Hammer-on is basically connecting two notes by hitting on the first one and just using your in this case left hand finger power to make the second note sound. For example if I want to connect 5 and 8 using a hammer-on place a finger on 5th fret let the note ring then hammer on with the I'm hammering on with the ring finger onto the 7th fret try to get that sound you do not have to move the first finger when you are hammering on with the second finger it can stay the index finger stays even when you are doing the hammer on and making the 7th fret note sound again place where you want to start from hit let the sound ring hammer on to the second note you want to go to let's hammer on what is a pull off it's a reverse of a hammer on basically but there we use the power of the finger to really pull on the string so that the remaining finger sounds. For example, if I want to do a pull off between my ring and index fingers, the ring finger is on the 7th fret, index finger is on the 5th fret, both the fingers are already in place. Both the fingers are already in place. It's not like we play the 7th fret and then suddenly pull off and place the other one. We can place both the, and it's better if you place both the fingers already in the beginning, before you hit the note you want to begin with and pull off to the 5th fret. It's easier to do a pull off on the 1st string. On the 2nd string, you will have to make sure that the 1st string doesn't ring. You're really pulling it off. You're not just lifting your finger. You're hitting on the 7th fret, making the note sustain, then really pull off. Really pull it off. Like It's basically this movement. Keeping your finger there, pulling the string off. The only addition is we are adding an extra finger here where we want the note to sound like pull it off, really pull it off. As you can notice, I'm not really moving up down, I'm moving diagonally. This is especially useful on any of the upper strings because then we have more space. See, a space if you if I was just to move from up to down, this is the space I have. If I were to move diagonally, I'm more free. Maybe you can use the hypotenuse theorem there. Right angle, just moving up and down in this much. But if I use the hypotenuse, the diagonal, I have more space. May not be directly applicable, but still remember it's more diagonal. Now we can combine hammer on and pull off. For example, I'm doing a hammer on to the seventh. Hit on the fifth fret. Hammer on into the 7th fret. Now pull off using the same finger. As you can see the index finger is staying there all the time. I'm doing a 5, 7, 5. 5 to 7 hammer on then pull off. Hit, hammer on, pull off. Remember, this is not good enough. This is also not really good enough. Just make sure that the note really sounds when you're hammering on. And then don't wait too long. Once you're there, pull it off and make the other note sound. This is a hammer on, pull off. The reverse is a pull off and a hammer on. I already have I already have both the fingers in place, fifth and seventh frets. Ring finger hit, pull off, really pull off the string to make the fifth fret note sound, the index finger note sound. Pull off, then do the hammer on to the seventh fret. 